back to Savvy Serena. Today I have my October 2019 plan with me. This is a See It Bigger planner, but I think any monthly planner layout that you have, this will work. And again, as I always say, this is great for beginners because I'm a beginner, but I enjoy doing these. So the last time we talked, I told you I was running out of stickers. And so I did purchase a sticker book. Um, I got this Happy Planner Seasonal Sticker Book. It has 1,557 stickers in it. And I found this actually at Walmart on clearance. And that's some of the sticker things. But anyways, it works in my planner. And I do like these seasonal ones. And it does make it easier when I am decorating it. Which is mainly what I do with the monthly is decorate. Just to make it look pretty from month to month. Start out with these right here. This did not come from my seasonal book. These were stickers that I got from a clearance sale that I went to. Dollar General had like 70% off. And I decided to get some stickers. And they were like 30 some cents a piece. But I, had, well, I knew that... I knew that, um, I can't think and I can't talk and do. I knew October was coming up. I had October in mind. So I am going to use these. Well, I guess I could use them as a border. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to also <clears throat> do some at the birthdays. Now we'll hold on to the other three. Because I, I, I feel like there's some other birthdays in October. But <clears throat> right off the top of my head, I don't know. So I've got three stickers left. So I used almost all of those. That's good. Have another one that's spider webs. And I'm gonna put that in the center right there. And then I have a bigger one. I'll put that one right there. And I have a little haunted house that I'm gonna stick up here. I've got another one that says visit a haunted house the college town here in town they do a haunted house they put on a, a haunted house each year and I've got some bats that I'm going to come away from that with And we'll have him going this way. Like he's flying away from the haunted house. This up here at the top, it says visit a pumpkin patch. We have a local farm like right down the street. And he puts a sign out saying their pumpkins are ready. That's around the first week in October. So I want to, I don't want to buy them from the store. I'd rather buy them from him. He's our neighbor. I would rather get, give the money to him than the store. I'm now, because to me that's helping your local farmers. So since he's our neighbor, I would rather give the money to him. So I'm holding out buying pumpkins and hoping around here, hoping that his pumpkins will be ready sticker that says eat drink and be spooky we'll put that right here it says halloween movie night 
I'm just going to stick this over in between. Because we will probably have a Halloween movie night before the end of October sometime. Just be a nice little reminder. A little sign that says, Happy Halloween. I'll put that down there on Halloween Day. <clears throat> I have these little leaves here that I'm going to put down. Because our leaves are falling. I'm just randomly putting them wherever. No rhyme or reason to it. sign that says happy fall y'all some speckled dots I'm just gonna put over here and I got a single little jack-o-lantern I'm gonna stick right there Then I have another little glitter of dots, and I'm going to put this underneath it, just to give it some. There we go. I like it. October 2019 monthly layout, and I think it turned out pretty good. I still got room if I need to, to write things in. I do like the fact those were clear, so I can still see the numbers, but... So, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So, I'll continue to do these as long as people are watching and you're liking them. I will continue to do them. But I think this turned out really, really cute. So, I probably won't see you in my next planner thing until November. So, happy Halloween. Y'all come back now. You hear?